Hi, this is Marcus, and today's lesson is bussing tables properly. I know this sounds so simple and so mundane, but believe it or not, there's a system to bussing a table properly with the proper etiquette and making sure the customers feel, feel um, not pressured. So, when you, re when you remove plates from a table, let's say you have a six top, four top, three top, or even a two top, they all have their entree plates down, and they start finishing their entrees and they obviously stick their forks and so forth, their silverware down and they're done eating. To bust the table properly, please make sure that every single person at the table is finished eating. It is improper and impolite to bust one or two people from the table to remove their entrees while people are still eating. To the people that are still eating, it puts pressure on them. And we have customers in the past that, that we've made that mistake to our first year open because we didn't do proper training with the staff and they actually made comments and said, you know, I, I one customer said, I, I'll never come back because I felt embarrassed that my wife's, that my food was taken away and my wife's a slow eater. So please understand that some customers get very, very upset with that. Make sure every single person's done. Also, when you bust at a table, you grab the plates from the table and turn away. You never take plates, you never stack them on the table as you're busting and consolidate. That is a major no-no. If you need help with a bigger table, you call somebody over or somebody's taking plates from the table and the other person is actually behind you grabbing the plates. So important, do not stack plates on tables and do not um, bust until every single person's done. Important, once entree plates are removed, the bread, bread basket comes off because there's no more bread. They don't need bread with dessert. You then crumb the table, which other staff will show you how to properly crumb the table and you remove the salt and pepper shakers. You do not need salt and pepper for dessert. So you manicure the table as much as you can. If their wine glasses are empty and they're not having more wine, remove them. There's no reason to have empty wine glasses on the table. There's no reason to have salt and pepper or a bread basket. And extremely important, when you bust uh, glasses, always grab the glass from the bottom. Never start sticking your fingers in and grabbing multiple glasses and walking away. That's also improper. And the same thing with silverware. When you're putting clean silverware on a table, never grab the fork by the tines or the spoon by the spoon part, because that's the people, that's what people put in their mouth, okay? So you know, if you have dirty hands and you're walking around touching that part of the silverware, it doesn't look good. So make sure you're very conscious of the impression that you're giving upon our guests. It's extremely important. So, to recap this video, make sure everybody's done eating before you bust all the entrees. Salt and pepper comes off bread basket comes off, empty wine glasses come off, anything else that was on the table needs to come off in, ready, in preparation for dessert. And um, never stack plates on a table while you're busting. Pull the plates away, make two or three trips if you have to, and make sure when you grab the plates, you walk to the kitchen, make sure they're firmly in your hands. Don't stack in like cradle plates or glasses as you walk to the kitchen, because you're gonna have to walk slower and through a crowd of people, and that doesn't look good. It's, a, it's a, not a good impression to leave upon our guests. You wanna walk with confidence, grab the amount of plates, make two trips if you have to, make three trips, have somebody help you. Today's lesson, how to bus a table properly.